Hello, and thank you for joining us for the quick module on your listing activity report. This is a report available to the agent whose listing it is. You cannot see other activity reports, but if you own the listing with the MLS number, this is available to you and your client. As we think about these new modules, they are quick videos, numerous different topics, if you want to see all the pieces to the topic that you're pursuing, do double check to see the other videos you could watch. Tech support, 382-8800. I am going to go over to Flex by sharing my screen. And as I demonstrate with this particular Report. I'm simply going to randomly pick an active MLS number and then I'm going to pull it down so the address isn't the focus. Uh, no criteria or selection involved. I'm simply going to begin to type an MLS number such as 2612. I see, oops, I missed one. Here's an address. Here's an active property. The, let's go to one here in uh, Green Valley. We'll just go ahead and hit New Tab. Now, as I pull this listing forward, I am going to go over to the MLS number on the left and hit Listing Activity. I can do this for all properties because I have um, administrative rights. So I'm able to, I'll demonstrate it one more time for you. The first thing for this property it's going to show you is the date range. And here we have from 12-3 to 12-31. You could, uh, that, that would be the actual listing date. So we'll go ahead, we see it's active, we see the price, two bedroom, two bath. Now let's begin to review the report. Here is how many people have viewed this listing through FlexMLS, 256. Of the FlexMLS views, it has been emailed 170 times. Now, on other services, it could be anything from your brokerage webpage to your webpage to Zillow, people that have an IDX agreement with it. It has been viewed 31 times. And for the Flex portal, people that have been in looking around themselves or, or some listings were sent to them. They have viewed it via the portal 24 times. One agent has recommended it. Uh, it's been saved three times. It's been hidden, and it's been hidden by an agent. That simply means that it doesn't match the criteria of those folks. And here's some graphs and charts. Now let's go to a couple of other pieces of information. People who saved this listing also saved, and it will show you additional properties that they saved. But remember, please make the relationship that only three people saved it. So of those three people, these properties were also saved. Here's the real critical and what I think you will find most valuable. People who viewed this listing also viewed. So of the top properties that were review, reviewed from people who looked at the property or focusing on your property. And it will show you that they're all still active. Their price ranges, bedrooms and baths. If you would like to view those kinds of things, you can go right there and take a look and see what's happening. So people who viewed this listing also viewed. And there's your listing number if you'd like to go look at those properties. Pretty simple report. Now you can print it, you can email it, or you can set up an auto email. So for the auto email, you would just go to your contact list, send it to yourself, and if you would like to send it to another contact, you can do that. You can then even pick the frequency, weekly or monthly, what day of the week, and do you want a copy? So yes, you could send it to the significant other, the partner, and the spouse. Shoot it off, and it will be an automatic report until such time that the property is closed or expired or canceled. So you don't have to worry about once those statuses change, stopping the report. 
Let's do another one real quickly. I'll type in four, five, six this time. Uh, these are all closed properties. Now, once it closes, right, you're not able to see. Here's one um, in Oro Valley. So let's go with that. We'll go ahead. We immediately go to the left-hand side. We choose listing activity. I'm going to pull it up so the address isn't the focus. This is a three-bedroom, two-bath. We have 435 views in Flex. 131 of were emailed to individuals. The IDX feature was 122, and folks who found it through a portal were 48. Hasn't It has been saved by a couple of people and hidden by three. If we go keep going, the rest of the report is now loading. Give me a second. So you do have some graphs and charts if you like charts. And here we go. Now we have to remember the correlation that only two people saved it. And if those that saved it, here are their properties that they also saved. Here are the people who viewed this listing also viewed. And you just take a look at it. And what's interesting is you can see some have closed. And you can see the price. You can see those that are still active. One is pending. So you get a real feel for the status of the properties that uh, the, of the people who viewed a large number of times this property has been viewed. These are the top uh, 10 properties that have also been viewed and their status. The listing report, of course, reminder, can be printed, emailed, or even set up as auto emails. So with that, I want to say thank you so much for listening to this uh, dynamic features of this report that can greatly um, assist you. People often use it with out-of-town investors, people who do not understand the power of the web. They sit, call me and say, my client is saying, um, I'm not working very hard because there's not a high number of open houses or foot traffic. So it's a really terrific way to help people understand the power of the web and marketing. If you have additional questions on this, don't hesitate to call 382-8800. Your tech support would love to help you. Stellar Selling.